Hey, what's up guys? It's Coach Ben from Soccer Entrepreneur. In today's video, I'm going to be answering a couple questions that I got uh, from the last couple of newsletters that I sent out. So if you're not on my newsletter yet, definitely go jump on that right now. It's free. Uh, just go in the, the link in the description and you can click a button there and just enter your email address. You'll get my weekly update there uh, where I share a lot of tips and insights about how to start your academy. So today, I'm going to answer a couple questions. And the first question I see is from Greg, and he says, what should I do if a player I'm training is not committed? And my answer to this is very blunt because I've been in that position before, especially when I was starting. I would train a lot of kids who were just uncommitted. And it wasn't just the kids. It was the parents as well. Kids would get there late, so their parents would not be there on time. Uh, they wouldn't be mentally prepared. They wouldn't be into the session at all. And there's only so much you can do as a trainer to motivate, encourage, and, and try to get the most out of every session. But if a player is not committed, then there's no reason for them to be there because at the end of the day, they're just going to be wasting your time. And you would rather be training someone else who would be in that spot or you'd rather be training no one at all during that time. And I know that's very blunt, but... I kind of want you to reverse engineer your onboarding process. When players are coming in, you should be finding out immediately if they're a committed family or not. And that's the thing I figured out with my academy is before I even train anyone, I know if they're going to be committed or not. If they're not, they're not going to be able to come to my evaluation session. And the reason I have that set up that way is because I don't want to waste any time. I don't want to go train anyone who's not on the, at the same level as me mentally. Um, and if they're not going to be into it, I know I'm not. And I'm not going to want to train anyone and accept anyone into my program if they're not going to be committed. Because I know I'm going to be committed on my end. And this whole job, this whole uh, start your own academy is very pleasant. And you're going to love doing that if you're around players who are committed. Um, and if you're not, then what's the whole reason why you're starting this in the first place? You know, because you're, you probably want to start this to do it because you really like it. And so you need to attract players who you want to train. And that's going to start with your onboarding process. And the next question I see is kind of along the same topic. Um, and this is from Mark. And he says, should I cut players from my program who are coming to my sessions late and my answer to this is also very blunt and the answer is yes uh, but you should have your own guidelines set up with players before they even step in your program this way like I said uh, when I answer the last question you already know beforehand if they're going to be committed or not and if they say they're committed and you feel like they are and then they go a couple sessions where they're late or they don't show up you need to reflect back on your terms and conditions page that you should have set up. This way, before anyone steps in your program, they know what you're all about. They know that they can't um, miss a session and get a rescheduled session. They know if they show up 15 minutes late, they're going to lose out on 15 minutes of time. This is how you get people to respect you and respect your time a lot more if you have terms set up. If you don't have that set up, no one is going to do anything that you want them to. They're never going to pay on time. They're never going to show up on time. Their kids won't be committed. And you're going to be attracting a lot of people who ultimately are going to make you lose interest in training players. So you kind of have to hit the reset button, go back to the beginning stages, and figure out how you want everyone in your program to be. And so you need to set up a page on your website or on your payment page to let people know this is this is who I'm looking for. And once you have that figured out, everything else is very simple because now you can start attracting the right types of people in your program and you can eliminate anyone who's going to give you headaches. And that's really kind of to recap everything is you have to be able to train people who you want to be around. And if you're not doing that, then you shouldn't be doing this because what's what's the point of training people who don't want to be around you and who you don't want to be around? There's No one's going to benefit that way. Um, so going forward, I want you guys to think about that. Um, you need, if you're trying to start your or set up everything right now, you want to have that in mind. You want to know, okay, this is who I'm looking for. This is the type of commitment I want. And this these are where those players are at. 
That way you can just follow that very simple process. This way you don't have to worry about cutting players or accepting players who you, you are kind of on the edge about. You think that they might be committed, but they're not. You, there, there's really no you know gray area there. You have to be very stern on how you have things set up for yourself. And this is going to protect you at the end of the day. So that's it for today, guys. Um, if you have any questions for me, shoot me an email at startyoursocceracademy at gmail.com or just uh, comment below this video. And below this video, if you click on the description box, there are a ton of different resources there that I've already set up. Um, I have my book called The Startup Soccer Academy. I have a mastermind set up where I work with four coaches per year. Um, you can read all about that there. Just click on the different links below this video, and I'll catch you next time.